Uh, traditional commerce is really 1.0, where you have a shop, you have a shop owner, and you sell to tens of people or hundreds of people. That's uh, commerce 1.0. Now, commerce 2.0 is when people get online. So they have uh, inventory-led e-commerce models. These are companies like Amazon, uh, where you know, I, I order something online, the, good, the item is shipped to my house. And I think you know, commerce 3.0 really uh, happened when there's a marketplace model where there are uh, thousands of sellers uh, selling to uh, millions of buyers. Uh, so these would be companies like eBay, these would be companies like uh, Snapdeal, these would be companies like Tokopedia. I think we're seeing a new wave of uh, commerce, which is actually the 4.0, uh, which is hyper-local, uh, where you know, friends, I can sell things to my friend, uh, you, you want a tennis a racket from me, I will sell to my, you're, you're more likely to buy from a friend than you're likely to buy from a stranger. So you have millions of, uh, millions of buyers and millions of sellers. So no, it's not only applicable to goods, it's also applicable to services. So for example, if I know how to play tennis, I can sell my uh, services to teach people tennis to uh, people around me and uh, people are more likely to buy from me because they're my friends. So we have a company called uh, Carousel which is doing very well in, uh, in, the, in the re this region. So it's a mobile marketplace, but it's also hyper-local. So it allows people to sell to their friends. So I can sell you know, uh, my used uh, tennis racket to a friend of mine uh, who happens to be around me. Um, and you know, if, I, if, I, if I have, a, um, uh, if I have a, a skill such as uh, being able to teach tennis, being able to teach people to play the harp, I can also list my services uh, on Carousel. I think the other wave, the other sort of uh, trend we are seeing, and there's a lot of uh, tailwind behind that, is sort of personalization and a curation. So uh, people want their initials or their um, uh, special love notes handcraft. Uh, so we have a company in Taiwan uh, called Pinkoi, which is a curated marketplace of uh, handcrafted goods. So it allows people to say, hey, I, I, I want a cup or I want a uh, you know, a, a baseball bat or I even want a watch and crave with my name or personalize. Uh, the interesting thing about Asia is that, you know, people like to sell to people they trust. So, you know, we see this uh, uh, carousel and pink koi uh, thriving because uh, people buy and sell from people who are their friends. Uh, and and, and we, have, we have seen from data that you're more likely to buy and buy more often from, you know, your friend on, on WeChat or friend on Facebook than from a complete stranger. So, and I, I think this will redefine or reshape a lot of the way that uh, commerce is being done. We are also seeing a lot of cross-border commerce take place because now friendships and relationships are now formed, forged across international boundaries. So we, have, we, have, we are seeing the, the rise of uh, cross-border commerce happening very fast.